What's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Sooner Trainer One, and welcome back to another episode for Friday the 13th, the game Virtual Cabin. This time, we have unlocked all the secrets, and we have a special ending for you guys. Don't forget, if you're already not supporting the backers here, you need to do this. This is... I cannot wait for this to come out. This is a game that's going to be out hopefully sometime in the next few months. Uh, they don't have a hard release date yet, but this is something I'm so excited for. A huge Friday the 13th fan. So back this game, guys. I will have a link in the description where you can uh, actually download this as well as uh, kind of, um, you know, have the game ready whenever it's actually about to be shipped. So without further ado, we're going to show you all the secrets to the virtual cabin. I did a live stream on this a couple of months ago, but now some more rooms have opened up and I actually have all of the secrets and we're going to be able to show you something special today. So first off, this is going to be like a guide. I'm going to take you exactly where you need to go. So in the living room, there is a phone. We need to answer the call. So what makes these things go off is you got to look at them for a certain amount of time and then uh, eventually it'll go off like that. Now you hear a little click. Now, if you actually go over here and you take a look, you can see a little thing open up to us. And we're going to be getting all of the ones that we need. It's going to be great. So next up is we're heading to the kitchen. These are areas, again, that were not available before. So this is uh, brand new probably to some of you. And we're staring at the frying pan on the stove. And once you hear that click, that's how you know you're good to go. All right, so next up, we are moving to the bathroom for a bloody shirt that's on the ground next to the bathtub. So we just need to look at it. And there you go. Next up, heading to the counselor's room. This is a room that I did show you guys off last time. There's a few things in here that we're going to be doing. First one's going to be a brawl that's on the ground in the back of the room next to the picnic basket. So we just need to find that. Stay around for a few seconds. <laughs> All right, next up is we need to look at a log. So uh, to, to be as clear as possible, so uh, this it's graffiti that's on the end of the log uh, with the bookish girl is sitting on. It's on the end and faces the door. So where's the... I love that. So right there is where it's going to be. Jimmy is a dead fudge. <laughs> so I'm not sure if just looking at it this way is going... Yeah, okay. It works. <laughs> Next up is where the canoe is. There is a life preserver.
Man, this is so good, guys. So remember, yes, it might look like I'm showing you guys this in 4K, so I apologize if it's a, uh, not as um, smooth. This is a virtual cabin. This is not the full game. But next up, we are going to be going to the conservatory. This is something new that you haven't seen yet, and it's glorious. There's actually quite a few little secrets out here, but only one that pertains to unlocking uh, the big secret of the cabin. So we're heading over here to the grave site. Take a look at Pamela Voorhees, 1930 to 1979. At rest. <laughs> Alright, so you heard the little click. Now, there are some other secrets and stuff like that that's in this area here. Like, if you go... Now, this, is, does, this does not need to be included. I'm just showing you some extra things. But there's a little fun thing right there. And there's another little one right here if you actually go to the car. But again, these are not included in what I am showing you. American Express, never leave home without it. All right, so we're heading back in. We're gonna go to the item room, which there is a Jarvis family history book. Don't do that to me. Just keep going, Strain. All right. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I know. As you can see, we are getting closer and closer to completing that V, I guess it is. All right, so let's look for the Jarvis family history book in the back of the room by the bear trap. There's the next lock, and there's the bear trap. So obviously you haven't seen this one yet either, so this is a new room that I haven't showed off. Alright, so now we're looking for something that's right there. It's a little hard to see. Court was here, 86. All right, I think we have just one more, which is the mattress in Jason's room. As you can see, there's only one more. Oh man, this is just, this is just so crazy. I just, uh, I, I love this. I love Friday the 13th so much. It's such a part of my my history and uh, just kind of, you know, my childhood. All right, well, guys, <laughs> here we go. We have all of them unlocked, and now we're going to find out a new secret. I actually have no idea what's going to happen here, so I'm probably going to shit my pants if Jason comes out. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to hit this. I have no idea what just happened.
something opened up. We are back. Holy shit. I don't even want to go to the other side. I'm afraid he's going to come around for me from the back. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. I didn't want to give it away, but looks like he ends up coming at us in the very, very end. Does this not make you excited to actually play this game? I'm so, so thrilled. It looks like I'm the 541st person to complete uh, <laughs> to complete that virtual. I'm a little bit late to the game. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in on Friday the 13th whenever it is released. I'm going to be killing me some counselors. Peace out. Bitches! <laughs>